15 tips for new drone pilots. That's coming up next. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. Today we are talking about 15 tips for new drone pilots. So if you're watching this video, you probably bought a drone recently. Maybe it's sitting on your shelf. You're a little bit afraid to fly it. Or maybe you just haven't had time to get out and really explore the features of your drone. So we're gonna go through 15 tips for new drone pilots. Here we go. First up, you gotta get legal. If you are planning to fly your drone for any professional reasons, you have to have your FAA Part 107 license. Even if you're planning on taking your video and donating it to a charity, you still gotta have your FAA Part 107 license. You can use websites like Remote Pilot 101. There are a bunch of other ones out there as well, but they give you little classes, little five minute chunks of information to help you get ready for this test. They also have practice quizzes, all sorts of cool things to help you pass that test but you gotta get that part 107 license, you gotta get legal, make sure you do it. Next up is know your surroundings. Make sure you are allowed to fly at the place that you wanna fly and do it ahead of time. Don't get there and then suddenly be like, oh crap, I can't fly here. And what I mean by can't fly here, maybe you're in airspace that isn't allowed to fly the drone. Companies like DJI sometimes will do geofencing, making sure that you're not allowed to take off without getting specific permission. Uh, from DJI. So download the Before You Fly app. That's gonna give you the correct information in terms of if you can fly in the area that you're wanting to fly in. And just make sure you know your surroundings. Make sure that you're not putting yourself in danger. Make sure that there's not somebody watching you as you're flying your drone that's gonna wanna come up and take your drone. So know your surroundings. That's a big tip. It's really, really important. Next up is know your flight mode. No matter what drone you bought, there's probably different flight modes uh, that you can put the drone in depending on what situation you're in. Now, usually you're gonna be in the positioning mode, uh, at least with the DJI Enterprise drones. That's gonna give you all of your GPS locations. That's gonna have all the sensors on. Basically, this is the safest mode to fly in. Now, you've also got sport mode. That's gonna up the speed of the drone. It's gonna make the drone go as fast as it can go, but it's gonna turn some of the sensors off. So you have to be very aware with that. Finally, you've got tripod mode. That one's gonna go up in the air and it's gonna stay ultra steady so that you could do something like panorama and get really good high quality photos or video uh, with as little wiggle as possible. Now, not all drones are gonna have those three categories, but the point is you need to look at your drone, read the manual and figure out what flight modes your drone has. Next up is know your weather conditions. We use an app called UAV Forecast for that. It's not only gonna tell you what the current weather conditions are uh, down on the ground, but it's also gonna tell you what the wind conditions are as you go up in the air up to 400 feet. Uh, obviously the wind gets a little, little stiffer as you go higher. So you need to be aware with that and UAV Forecast is a great one. We're not sponsored or anything. We have no connection with them. They, that's just literally what we use when we go out in the field. Next up is know the limits of your drone battery. So something like the Mavic 3, they're saying it's gonna go in the 40 minute range of flight time. I think it's a, actually a little bit less than that. But point being, you don't wanna fly this thing so far away that to get it back is gonna be an issue. So the drone has some things built into it. It tells you when it's time to come back home, you can override it. And some people do override it and they try to push it. The problem with that, they end up landing halfway home because they didn't have enough battery to get there. So make sure you know the limits of your battery. Don't lose your drone because you are trying to go just a little bit further, or just a little bit longer. Next up, you have to temperature control your batteries. Please do not take your drone with the batteries and throw it in the back of your car on a hot day. Please don't throw it in the back of your car and leave it overnight on a cold day. This is going to hurt your batteries. With the hot batteries, it's gonna actually swell, they'll get bigger and they'll be ruined. You'll not be able to use the batteries again. With the cold weather, you're gonna lose a lot of power in your batteries. So say you fully charge them, throw them in your trunk. Well, guess what? The next morning, they're gonna have like half battery because they've been out in the cold all night long. So please, temperature control your battery. Next up is don't get cocky. You know, you go out there, you fly the drone for a while, you think you're, you think you're getting pretty good. And then all of a sudden, 
you take a spill and you wreck, you hit it in the tree branch or something like that. So don't get too cocky. Make sure you're keeping a good distance away from trees. Make sure you're keeping a, a really good distance away from human beings because that is the last thing you want is to injure somebody else. So please keep your ego in check. Don't get cocky and fly like you want to keep your ground. Next up is do not rely on the drone sensors to keep you away from a crash. The sensors are great. They do a good job, uh, but they're not perfect. So you should not count on them. Make sure you are flying responsibly. Make sure you are flying safely. Don't rely on the sensors. They're like a seat belt. I guess that's the best way to, to describe it. They're like a seat belt for your drone. Uh, you don't wanna have to ever use it, but if you do, it's nice that they're there. Next up is shoot your drone video in the highest quality possible. So if your drone will only do 4K, shoot it in 4K. If it'll do 6K, do it in 6K. If it'll go up to 8K like the Autel Evo 2, uh, the 8K sensor on that one, shoot it in 8K. Why do I say this? Because when you go into the editing suite, you're gonna be able to crop it. So say you're shooting 4K, uh, and you're putting out a 1080p video, you're going to be able to crop into that video down to the 1080p. So you're gonna be able to maintain that high quality if you shoot it in 8K and then crop all the way in. 8K is a huge file, but you'll be able to crop all the way into it and not lose quality on that video. So shoot in the highest quality video you can. I know it's gonna take up a lot of SD card space, but it's gonna be worth it when you've got all these options in editing. Next up is stay calm. Now guess what? Everybody wrecks a drone. If you haven't wrecked a drone yet, you're either not flying enough or you're lying. I've wrecked several drones. I'm not proud to talk about that, but I have. I've wrecked several drones, including a Matrice 300. Ugh, I still get a little bit nauseous over that one, one of the worst days of my life. But do not freak out if your drone starts to come to the ground. You gotta keep your head about you. You gotta make sure that the drone is gonna hopefully will crash in a, in a safe spot. But the last thing you need is to be freaking out while your drone is plummeting to the ground. You gotta stay calm, go find your drone, and then deal with the aftermath afterwards. Next up is be courteous. There are tons of drone pilots out there now. Drones are all over the place, but there are people that just don't get it. They don't like it. They don't want you flying around them. They don't want you flying even far from them. Uh, but you gotta be courteous and you gotta think of that stuff. Make sure wherever you're taking off from, make sure you're being courteous. Don't take off from somebody's property without asking them first. Don't fly over people. Don't fly into people's yards. Be courteous, fly responsibly, and only fly where you're supposed to. And finally, get creative. This is an exciting time because you just bought this brand new drone. Now you could be using it just for fun. You can be using it for work purposes, but for whatever purpose it is, get creative. Get that cool looking shot that you've always dreamt of. Use the drone for search and rescue operations or use it for your construction company. Whatever you wanna do, this is an exciting time for you. We hope you enjoy flying your drone and we appreciate you stopping by and watching this video. Please hit like and subscribe if you get a chance. We are drone dealers. We sell enterprise drones. So search and rescue, uh, agriculture, there are all sorts of industries that we work with. We'd love it if you hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.